Hey everyone, this is Live by the Code. How's it going? Today I have some engineer gameplay footage to share with you guys. This is one of the first rounds I played, uh, first full games I played after unlocking the M2 Carl Gustav AT rocket launcher. And um, yeah, I do I do have a lot to say about it. Uh, more on that later. You can see me getting my first silver star. So we will be seeing quite a bit of CG action in this game. There's going to be a helicopter come attack me, and uh, I'm going to miss my first shot. One thing I've noticed about shooting at helicopters is that, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I always tend to aim too low, and I just barely clip the uh, bottom there. So yeah, if you are trying to shoot down aircraft, uh, you might want to try aiming just a little bit higher. And as for the rest of my loadout, I'm using the Saiga 20k Semi. Uh, shotgun that is a auto shotty, and I'm also using the World War II 45 cal pistol. As for what options I'm using, I'm using the explosive ammo option, so that allows me to carry double the amount of rockets and double the amount of grenades. And I'm also using the explosive dam damage option, and that gives me 25% uh, damage bonus on all explosives. I want you guys to look at this part here. I'm just roughly aiming in the area of. Um, where I think the enemies are. And just like that, I got a double kill, another kill just right before that. So, we will be seeing quite a few double kills in this uh, game. So that's that's the end of the defenders round. I'm going to move on to the attacking team now. This is going to be a very fast-paced game. A lot of uh, movement, a lot of killing, a lot of dying. As, as you can see, my loadout is very much close range oriented. <laughs> and there I am, trying to Trying to have some fun. And of course, I get a bit greedy. I really wanted to show the features of the CG. And uh, one thing I have noticed is that when you fire the rocket, it does have a smoke trail. And uh, you can see it pretty clearly. But one thing I've noticed is that. The, the actual rocket, uh, the actual projectile, actually travels much faster than uh, the smoke trail uh, makes it look like. I think the rocket actually hits the target before the smoke trail even gets halfway there. So the CG has been a uh, controversial topic, as has the 40mm frag grenade and the auto shotties, I guess you could say. And as you can see, I just got another, another double kill there. And one thing the CG is really useful for is shooting at enemies who are hiding behind cover. Because the blast radius is just so huge. And uh, I think if, if, something, if something does change about the CG, it should definitely be the blast radius. And I'm sure that if I was trying to make these shots with the RPG-7, which is the first rocket launcher you get, I don't think I would have uh, gotten nearly as many kills. So as for my opinion, uh, well the first the first first class I started leveling was the assault. So I mean while I was ranking that up, I was getting killed by CGs and uh, shotguns and you know while everyone else was complaining about the 40 millimeter noob tube, and I didn't really think much about those complaints at the time because um I thought they were they were legitimate complaints. It is pretty easy to get kills with the 40 millimeter frag grenade. Um, but then I started ranking up the engineer, and I got the CG. And I have to say, the CG is considerably easier to use than the 40 millimeter frag grenade. And I think I can say that about the auto shotties as well. So interpret that as you wish and I am using the CG and shotgun in my current loadout so and yeah I am gonna commit suicide gonna get a epic fail message anyways if you do find yourself uh, having a hard time getting kills my advice would be to give the CG a try because as you can see I mean a lot of the times I just have to I, I really just kinda whip it out uh, as a last resort and uh, it works most of the time so I, I would give that a shot. And as for shotguns, I really didn't start using shotguns until I started ranking up the uh, engineer and medic. And I have to say, I was surprised to find out how, just how effective they are at close range. And so I'm going to get killed by a CG there. 
getting a taste of my own medicine, I guess. I should point out that if you are using the shotgun, you do you do have to conserve your uh, ammo. Because you can see, it, it does take all uh, all six of my shots to make the kill here. So you, you do kind of have to aim. Um, I should point out that if you use the ammo upgrade, you will have a clip size of 12 shells. And this part is interesting because I'm just... I thought it was funny because I, I was just... I basically just straight use the uh, CG you know, for close range and, and long range and um, it works I mean it, it works for close range I think I'm gonna get a few kills off the uh, people defusing the MCOM station right now which is a single I think a double coming up so very effective for uh, you know, groups of enemies in tight spaces very very effective and if you're using it for close range, just make sure you don't kill yourself, like I almost did here. And I think we are going to lose this round. So uh, that is GG. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you like what you see. I do have a special treat coming very soon. If you have any comments or feedback, I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, this is Live by the Code. I'll see you guys later. Okay, I got eyes on enemy infantry. We got a chance of alpha. Get away.